YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. This time, we're going to talk about the differences between Cat 5e and Cat 6. Now, am I talking about cable? Well, yeah, kind of. Um, actually, the difference between Cat 5e and Cat 6, technically speaking, has to do with performance. So, Cat 5e uh, is capable of 2.5 gigabit up to 328 feet on a channel. That's at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way, because as your temps go up, your runs go down. So that's what it's capable of. It's also capable of carrying as much PoE as Cat 6A is. Not as well, because it heats up more, because it's usually got thinner conductors. Uh, but it is suitable for 90 watt PoE. You just have to keep the number of runs down. Now, this is a category six cable, and it's got some slightly different construction inside because in order to achieve category six performance, which is five gigabit or 5G base T up to 328 feet on a channel, or secondarily, 165 feet at 10 gigabit under ideal conditions, then this particular cable is, has to be constructed just a bit differently to meet that performance specification. So there, therefore, one cable is going to be thicker than another, uh, just by how it's designed. Now, in this particular cable, it's because Cat6 cable has 23 AWG con uh, conductors. That's the actual co copper conductor size. So I'm going to strip off and show you the inside of this particular Cat6 cable so you can just get some idea like what it looks like in there. And it's really nothing spectacular, I promise. We're just gonna put a nice score on the cable jacket, break it at the score. And then you got your cable jacket piece. The cable jacket is typically a little bit stiffer and thicker on Cat 6. You've got a rip cord that's in there. We'll, uh, we can, yeah, I'll just cut it off. Why not? Not gonna hurt nothing. And then you've got these four twisted pairs. And they're color coded orange, blue, brown, and green. And then you've got a center spline. Now I've heard people call this a spleen. No, it's not your spleen. It's not a center skeleton, a cross member, or whatever. It's actually called a spline. And so the spline is designed to help this cable achieve its category six performance by minimizing crosstalk inside the cable from one pair to another pair. So it's designed to basically quiet down the cable. That's what, that's what this spline is for. So that's how category six achieves its performance. One thing to note about Cat 5e, there is no center spline. So it's a the cable is anything but circular. So I recommend that when you're stripping this stuff, you be very careful not to make a conductor as easy to do. So roll it between your fingers to get it as nice and circular as you can make it before you try to do this. And then put it into your stripper and then lightly adjust the, the uh, strip wheel here so it just makes contact with the top of that cable, not too much. So we're going to put a slight score on that. And the next thing is to make sure you didn't actually cut through that cable jacket. And oftentimes you will, but I did not. And I can break it at that score, and I know that I don't have any new conductors. And so inside of your Cat 5 e cable, you have, again, the same four twisted pairs. So there's a commonality between Cat 6 and Cat 5 e You've got four twisted pairs. You've got your uh, green and, and orange and blue and brown. You've got a rip cord. These just don't have a center spline because Cat 5e is not meant to achieve the same level of performance that Cat 6 or Cat 6a is supposed to get. So it can be built a little bit looser, so to speak. But what the, one of the nice things about Cat 5e that I like is that uh, even though it may not be the highest performing cable in the world, it certainly is one of the most versatile in regards to being able to get in the tight spots, because look at that. You can turn it pretty tight uh, before you start causing yourself a problem. Now, in the case of category 6 or 6A, well, it's not going to be as tight. And the reason why is because you've got the center spline in there, and it doesn't want to bend nearly as tightly. So about as tight as you're going to get is about like that. So you can get a lot tighter and get in tighter spots with Cat5e. So Cat5e is not dead, it's got a place in the world. 
Cat6 is now dead, it's got a place in the world too. Right cable for the right job. That pretty well covers the differences between Cat5D and Cat6. So with that, I'm gonna say you have a great day. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Leave us a comment below. Let us know where you might still be using Cat5D at. I'd love to know because I have my uses for it. And that's it. I'm gonna say you have a wonderful day and happy networking.